Hey everybody, it's Beth. Welcome to Infinite Garden. Last week I posted a video talking about the Kibbe body typing system, or as I like to think about it, the five main aesthetic categories that we can use to help us make choices when we're getting dressed and buying new items of clothing. So in this video, I'll be showing myself wearing clothes that I think demonstrate each category's main aesthetic principles, and I'm going to see how they work on my body. So to lay the groundwork, I am five foot seven and one quarter, and I wear basically a US dress size eight, UK dress size 12. There will be timestamps down below if you wish to skip to a particular category, but I will let you know that I ordered these from what I consider to be hardest to wear to easiest to wear. Starting with gamine, the gamine type is generally shorter and straighter. I think my dog Chewy might be a gamine. Here I am playing with the concept of a graphic tee and a relatively short skirt for me, showing how you can use some of those gamine principles to put an outfit together. It looks good with a crop jacket as well. This is an outfit I have never worn before. I also tried for the first time vivid color blocking. This is not something that I normally do and it is something that is a hallmark of gamine dressing. I also grabbed a short jacket as well with a more animated print. This dress I love but I've only worn a couple of times because I don't know that it suits me. This is a Marquesa Note dress and I've worn it to at least one wedding. It has large polka dots in the weave of the fabric and some gathers at the knee. It's very cute, but I don't feel my best in it. And this is a dress I've recently added. The lines of this dress are clean and classic, but the busy bamboo print I think puts it in the gamming category. The next category is natural, and this is another category that I find somewhat hard to wear. This category is generally for taller types. Being 5'7", I could be a natural. And people who fall in this category will look best in long, unconstructed garments. Here I am in a block printed caftan. I love wearing this dress, but this is usually something I just wear inside. This is a long, heavy coat with a furry texture, something somebody who can wear natural lines would wear easily. I find this coat wearable primarily because I can belt it and cinch the waist in. This is a beautiful hand embroidered blouse I bought in Mexico. This shirt has a romantic vibe due to its exquisite embellished embroidery, but the shape of this blouse is loose, the fabric is quite textured, and it gives off a casual vibe. I think this top is closely aligned with natural principles. If you saw my video about breaking my no buy, I did it for this outfit. This is a two-piece set from Ralph Lauren, made of silk. This outfit has some classical detailing, but I think overall this long-lined, casual, sort of boxy outfit would look great on a natural. The next category is romantic. Because I have curves, I often like the way I look in romantic garments. But the reality is that these types of garments in my closet are the ones that get some of the least play. And one of the reasons for that is that although I like how I look in these in private, I often feel uncomfortable in public wearing some of these clothes. I feel sometimes as though it's a little too va va voom for me, and I sometimes feel as though I look obvious. These dresses have quite a lot of detail and I think are pretty and very cute. But like I said, sometimes they emphasize my curves in a way that is more than I want. This teal dress is a good example of that. I've worn this dress a few times and I do think it's pretty. I can feel pretty self-conscious. This red dress is wrinkled because I'm planning to donate it and I've had it in a sack. That's primarily because of the quality of the fabric. I've worn this dress a few times, but I don't really want to wear it again. This leopard print dress I've worn exactly one time. I bought it from J. Crew, and I was surprised by the quality of the fabric, not in a good way. I wore it out one time and felt uncomfortable. This is a dress from J. Crew in years past that I have worn a number of times over the years. I wore this dress on my first date with my husband. This is a silk dress, and I think one of the reasons why I'm more comfortable with it is because the hemline is a little bit longer. I think the frilly details with a short hemline on me makes me feel a little bit out of place. 
The dramatic aesthetic is characterized by having very clean, sharp lines, something that I really like as an overall aesthetic. This first piece is a sweater that I have worn one or two times. It is asymmetrical, it is one sleeve. This is an Alexander Wang merino sweater dress from maybe 10 years ago. I actually think I look good in it and pulling this out for this video, it made me remember that this is something I should feel more comfortable wearing maybe on a night out. This dress, I can't tell you how many times I've worn. This is from Eileen Fisher many years ago. It's silk. There's almost no detailing whatsoever except for the sheer panel at the shoulders. When I wear this dress though, I do tend to put a slim black belt just to bring it in a little bit at the waist. This is a vintage coat my husband bought for me. This is a 1960s trapeze coat with pockets and I chose this for dramatic because of the large scale plaid print and it's triangular shape. I actually don't wear this coat that much, but after breaking it out for this, I decided I'm going to start rotating this more. This dress I've nearly worn to death. This is from M.M. Lafleur, and it is a navy blue dress for work with absolutely zero details. It has a sharp, short neckline, an invisible zipper, and a hemline to the knee. This has been an invaluable dress for me in my work life. This is a two-piece set from The Fold, and I would put this one in the soft dramatic category. It has a long hemline and somewhat severe detailing, but the poofiness at the sleeves and the neckline soften it a bit and help accommodate my curves. I love wearing this. I wore this to a holiday party last year. I wanted to show you one of my favorite coats. This is a very long, very sleek black wool coat that has, again, almost no details whatsoever and relentlessly crisp lines. I love wearing this coat. I look forward to it every year. To wrap it up, this is a dress I bought on a whim and I'm not sure when I'm going to wear it, but when I put it on, I thought, my goodness, I've got to have it. And I'm wrapping up with classic. This is the category I find the easiest to wear. This is another dress from The Fold. I have worn this mostly in the summer to important meetings or other types of events where I might be photographed. I'm wearing it here with a cardivan colored belt and I feel very confident in this. Eagle-eyed viewers might recognize this dress from two very recent historical events. I wasn't surprised to see this dress deployed in both of these cases. This is one of my power dresses too. Navy blue dress with a slight peplum detail. This is an evening slash cocktail dress by Maggie London. They still sell this. I saw this at Nordstrom this fall. The hemline can be adjusted depending on the skirt height that you prefer. I love wearing this dress. I feel extremely comfortable and powerful in it. This next dress appears very simple, but it does have a slightly dramatic asymmetrical peplum. I've worn this dress many times and it's a go-to for me. I love having it. Here I'm pulling my hair back to make it just a little bit tidier so you can see how I might wear this dress. This is another dress from The Fold. Its only details are the gathers at the neckline. Otherwise, it goes to the knee, the sleeves go to the wrist, and there are no other embellishments. I've worn this dress to public speaking engagements and for my career headshots. This is the type of outfit I have worn and would wear into the office. I love this blazer with its invisible button that helps create waist emphasis. And this is one of my very favorite dinner outlooks during the winter time. This is a black velvet blazer. I'll pair it with a delicate silk cami and simple black pants. It looks great with both heels and flats. By going through this exercise and trying each category's principles on my own body, I'm still not sure which category I am, but what I do know for sure is that I'm very comfortable wearing dramatic lines and classic lines. And for now, that's really all I need to know and to carry with me as I make my dressing decisions and my shopping decisions. I also benefited from trying the categories that I don't feel as aligned with. I found that I could pull together some new outfits from clothes I already have, and it helped me to feel more energized about my closet as it is. Anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this, and I hope you're all doing well out there. Thank you so much for watching. Talk soon.